my name is Mehran Azaga. I'm a genetic counseling student at Cincinnati Children's. I am originally from Ethiopia. I moved to the United States in 2001, and I moved to Cincinnati for school. Hi, my name is Katie Armstrong, and I'm a genetic counseling student. I'm originally from Greenwood, South Carolina. Right when I kind of stepped foot here, I was like, this is where I want to go. I just felt like I was not just treated as a student. I really felt like the students in the program are treated as co-workers. Genetic counseling is a small field. So there's only about 25 to 30 schools in the country that have genetic counseling training programs. I felt like Cincinnati has a lot of unique things that are not on the surface, but we're there for people to explore. I feel very lucky to be here. Everywhere you go, one of the major questions is, so what do you do? And I'm like, well, I'm in graduate school to become a genetic counselor. And then you get the face, the very confused looking <laughs> face. <laughs> and I have to decide, do I want to go into it? <laughs> Or do I want to just let it pass? And I say, are, you know, are you familiar with genetic counseling? And they say, no, nope. And I say, instead of me telling you, why don't you tell me what you think it is? So, what have you gotten? I have, so I know my significant other is smarter than me, and I'm athletic. Can we have a baby who's smart and athletic? Like, can you create us a baby who's smart and athletic? Yeah, so you counsel genes? Oh, yeah, so you're going to make designer babies. Yeah. No, we're not doing that. Oh, so you do genetic engineering? Well, actually, we don't do that. It's psychology and science. So yeah. people are confused by, so are you a therapist or are you a scientist? I usually say that we are kind of like medical translators. We get to interact with families and we try to put all the pieces together and see if we could diagnose them with a genetic disorder. Our role would be to explain to this family, what does this mean? What is a genetic disorder? How has this happened? We would explain chromosomes and genes and inheritance patterns and all of those things. Well, the future is so exciting because we're learning so much about genetics. We're learning so much about the science part of it. And I feel like medicine as a whole is integrating genetics. Now it's more like personalized medicine where we're trying to figure out what works for this patient based on what kind of genes they have. Really, that is the future of medicine.